so much, Jess. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Jazz. I'm a 12-year-old proud trans girl, and I'm honored to be speaking here today. I was born a boy, but I always considered myself a girl, and I let my parents know that right from the start. From the moment I could crawl, I'd steal my sister's dolls. As soon as I could walk, I was printing around in stilettos, boas, blonde wigs, and tons of makeup. When I was three, I named myself Sparkles and insisted I was a girl. My parents knew I was very different from my older brothers, and before I was four, a doctor told them I was transgender. While other parents may have freaked out and forced me to act like a typical boy, mine just showered me with love. When I was five, my dreams came true, and I transitioned to the happy girl standing here tonight. When I was six, my family and I appeared on 2020 with Barbara Walters. At the time, young transgender children weren't sharing their stories on national TV. The public learned that many transgender people felt trapped in their bodies since they were very little. But no matter what our stories are, we all have something in common. We have the courage and strength to be true to ourselves. But it's even more than that because we have to endure cruel and harsh judgments from society. And if that's not bad enough, we have to fear for our safety just for being who we are. When I did share my story, we didn't realize the impact it would have. Suddenly, so many young transgender kids started to come out of their shadows because their parents began to listen and show them unconditional love. Unfortunately, there are still so many people who don't understand and, that don't, and they don't like us. Just because a person's brain doesn't match their body doesn't make them a freak or bad person. In fact, I think it's just the opposite. Transgenders like me are unique and special. Get to know us. Give us a chance. This is the message I want to spread across the world. It paves the way for future generations of transgender youth to live better lives. Close to half of kids like me will try to kill themselves before they are 20. The hatred, cruelty, and discrimination needs to stop. No more suicides and no more murders. Too many loved ones have been lost. However, the good part is that it is getting better. I have hope for the future. But until we can feel safe in the world and more people show tolerance, acceptance, and compassion, our work is not done. I'd like to now read one of my favorite quotes. Be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. Written by none other than the incredible Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Thank you.